I'm gonna be lucky long time, yeah. Long time, ah. I'm gonna be lucky long time, oh. What's up, Diamond Squad? It's your guest tonight, Diamond Tan. I'm back again with another video. This is the first time you see my face on your screen. Make sure you guys go ahead and click the subscribe button, smash the like button, turn the notification on so you can see new posts, and after this part of Diamond Squad, let's go back up right now and give this video a like. So, today I am going to be reviewing the iHeart Revolution. I. Yep, yeah, iHeart Revolution and Chill set. Um. As you can see, you get all of that stuff inside there. This I got during the Black Friday sale. Um, I got this on sale for $27, I think, or $30 maybe. So I waited for the price to drop because I wasn't about to spend, like, I think it was $50 on this. So yeah, I wasn't about to spend that on this. But this is how it looks. And you open it up. This is how the inside is. I'm gonna set this down right here, and we're gonna just go through all the all the not the palace, all the all the things that are in here. So the first thing is frozen raspberry, and this is a chocolate palette. Look how pretty. Now I think these are exclusive. I don't know if they're gonna sell these individually, but yeah, and it smells like raspberry, y'all. I guess it smells so good, so let me just fix the lighting so y'all can see the true colors. Well, y'all can't really see the actual true colors, but you know. So you have frozen raspberry. I'm gonna actually just keep this out because I am gonna swatch, swatch it and all that stuff. So let me just put the box back in here. All right. Next is Ice Latte, and I was very excited for this one because, I don't know, I just love the color story in this one a lot for some reason. So, here it is. And this smells like chocolate, you guys. So, here's the color story. I just really love this color story. Like, this color story, I don't know, it just, it just grabs my attention. Like, <sighs> so beautiful. Okay. The next one is called Peppermint, and this is a mini eyeshadow palette, I think. Yeah, that's the mini eyeshadow palette. So, I like how they came out with new, freshly new ones. So, this is the Peppermint one. And this smells like Peppermint, like legit, so really happy with that one. This kind of reminds me of the other one I have. Um, It's a green palette. I don't know if it's called... I don't forget what it's called, but it's a green palette I have that smells like peppermint too. But anyways, this one's called Chocolate Ice. I'm just gonna go through these fast. So yeah. So this is a contour and highlighter. So here we go. For the contour shade, I can work with that. The highlighter shade, maybe I can work with that. We'll see how it looks on my face. So that. Okay. The next thing in here. Why did I not go in there again? Okay. Is a defrosted highlighter, which looks like this. And this I'm going to give away. Honestly, I just don't feel like I need to keep it. Honestly, because. Yeah, it's like a pink champagne -y color, like a pink gold color. So, this one would be... I might actually take it out the box. So, this is actually one that I'm going to give away to a friend or something. The next thing is a pocket mirror, which I know a lot of people wasn't excited about that. But, honestly, I don't mind it. So, yeah, it's a mirror. It looks like that. And I'm going to take this out too. So, yeah, with the mirror, I don't mind it because I can first put it in my bag. Because a lot of times I need, like, some small mirrors. So, yeah. Now, the next thing is a lip scrub. And. Here it is. 
And this is vanilla. I think it's vanilla. Is it vanilla? Oh, sugar lips though, but it smells like vanilla bean to me. Like, it smells so good. Like, this is how it looks. And I love a nice, good lip scrub, honestly, because they help. They really help. So, yeah. The next thing here is a beauty blender. Just like this and it's actually really soft so i really like that i didn't really like the other beauty blender that they put last year so this one's really nice and soft so i would try to get some use out of this honestly because i hardly ever use my beauty blenders like that because i just don't know i just don't like using beauty blenders to blend out my foundation i more like to use them for liquid highlighters if i'm applying a liquid highlight on my face i more use them for that my next one here is called fruit smoothie and this is a gloss yes. so here's the packaging and as you see they go with the whole pink chocolate drip thing so here's that so i'm gonna take this out too and the next thing that's here is strawberry milk which this is a fixing spray oh I don't need to open it like that, but, you know, it is what it is. Anyways, so here it is. And I said, I had smelled this already. It smells like strawberries, like straight up, so I like that about it. I don't even know I'm going to spray it on my face because I'm not supposed to get, like, any water near my eyes because I have eyelash extensions, but I'll spray it somewhere on my face, so... And then the last one of these is called van Frozen Vanilla. I'm going to say Vanilla Bean. And here it is. It's more like a, I would get, I would say more like a lip topper type of thing. Like you could put it by by itself, of course. But I, I know people will put this as a lip topper as well. So, yeah. So, yeah. That is everything that is in this box. So, now time for some swatching. So, I'm going to swatch the contour palette and the highlighter palette. And see. Okay, so the contour shade is kind of like an ashy brown. The highlighter shade is very beautiful. I feel like I could make it work somehow, but we'll see. If you guys see the light keep changing, that's my TV that's open. So, yeah. Uh, and then the next I'm going to swatch the palette, so I'm going to just be right back. Okay, so I swatched a few shades from the mint palette. So, I'm going to just go ahead and just show you guys. Ooh, that matte shade did not swatch pretty. There you go. Pretty nice. I'm only swatching a few shades because it's a lot of palettes to get through and, you know, um, okay, in this palette, I'm going to swatch this shimmer right here. This palette smells so good. So, here we go. Look at that. Okay, I need to clean my hands. Okay, so now I'm just going to... Oh, yeah, by the way, soybean in this palette is kind of a chunky... It's kind of chunky in here in the pan, so that's definitely a shade... I would have to watch out when I'm putting it on my lids if I did use it. Which I don't even know I'm going to put that on my lids because of the way my eyelashes are. But, um, so yeah, like I said, I'm just watching a few shades from the palette. I'm not watching everything. So here are these. Okay, I took too much. I have to say, I am very impressed with the quality like looks pretty nice you know i've have i have some i are wishing chocolate palettes that i kind of regret buying because they didn't really perform that great on the eyes but hopefully these don't do that so yeah anyways now is the ras the frozen raspberry palette my hand is so slippery this this makeup wipe I'm using is making my feet, my hands so slippery. Ugh. 
camouflage. There's blue shade. There's pink shade. And this. So, can't really see the actual. There we go. That's better. Um, can this was the blue. Is that nice icy blue? And then that pink. And then I'm gonna just swatch this over the contour shade. Really nice. I really like these colors. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm gonna swatch this pinkish red color. I'm gonna swatch it right here. Wow. Really nice. Alright, so now I'm just going to create a look with both palettes, but before I do that, I'm actually going to put some contour and highlighter on first to see how that is, and then see how I'm, how the heck am I going to put eyeshadow on my eyes, because it's been a long time since I put eyeshadow on my eyes, so, yeah, okay. Okay, so now I'm going to try out the contour shade. Not bad, honestly. I thought it was gonna look weird on me because it looked like an ashy brown color, but it is not that bad. I don't know if you guys can really see that, but I can see a little something there. It's not bad at all, but you can hardly see it, which sucks, but I only put use a smaller brush to contour your nose, but I just, I don't know, something might just do that. Okay, so now the highlighter, so I'm going to dip into it a little bit and see how it looks. It's not bad at all, like, I can actually wear this as a highlighter, so, it's not bad at all. Really, really like that. Cute. Yeah, I like a nice gold highlighter, so, I really like that, so. Alright, so, love this. So now I'm just gonna try out the palettes. I'm gonna use these two together on one eye and this one on its own because I just really want to create a look with this palette only on its own. So these two I'm gonna use together and um, yeah. Alright guys, so I didn't really do what I look I really wanted to do because it was kind of hard to do what I was trying to go for when the lashes were in the way, but I just try my best to do what I can. Um, so basically, I did use both, uh, for this side, I went ahead and started off with Puffet, which is like this like a light purple pink color and then I used that for my crease and then I used like the lightest color right here for my crease I can't really see so I used that for my crease and then I also added sh short cake and berry icing which or like the pink shades this pink shade and that pink shade onto my crease and blend it out so then I was trying to put the green which is this green eyeshadow right here but it wasn't really picking up as much with the brush i feel like with this shade most likely with a finger it would show up how you want it but with a brush it wasn't really doing that so i kind of just went and used this shade on the lid and then i kind of mixed it with the blue because i really want to use this blue shade so yeah that's what i pretty much came up with but i feel like um with that green shimmer i definitely use a finger for it so it could show up a lot better um now with the latte shade i mean the latte palette i basically had the same 
type of issue i couldn't really do what i was trying to do but i i made something right so i went ahead and used these two shades from my crease and then i used dark roast and frappe on the other corner and then i wanted to use soybean but like i said it was like a chunky shade i feel like with this shade you more need to go in with the finger and a brush because then it's going to look weird when you're applying it with a brush so then i just skipped that shade and i decided to use this pink shade right here and i put it on there so as best as i can so yeah that's that's pretty much um what i did i mean the eyeshadow press are not bad like i said i just can't really do what i'm trying to do because the lashes are in the way but yeah okay so now i'm gonna try on the lippies so i'm gonna try on what is this one called again fruit smoothie it smells really nice so these are clear glosses i believe yeah this is a clear gloss I like um, their glosses because their glosses don't feel too sticky like this one. It feels very lightweight. I don't even really feel that much on my lips. So, as you can see, it's more like a clear gloss. You can really you can tell from the in the bottle in the tube. You know you can tell. So there's that. Let me just wipe it off. And then the last one, which is frozen vanilla. I keep wanting to call this icing for some reason, but painting. Kind of smell. I don't know what it smells like. Like I thought it was cinnamon at first, but I'm like, no, that's not cinnamon. So yeah, this is a clear, clear gloss. So. I would say this would be best to use like as a lip topper if you want those people that like to use lip glosses over lipstick so yeah now um the only thing i've got to review left i mean i know i'm not gonna review this in this video because like i said i only use beauty blenders when it comes to certain things the lip scrub i'm not gonna use in this video i should have used that actually before i put those on but whatever um now with this i'm gonna have to cover my eyes honestly I just got to spray it down here because I can't spray it out um your know, eyes. So yeah, only the bottom half of my face can really get it. But it smells really really good though. But I'm gonna just let it sit for a little bit and then tell you guys how it feel based off you know. Yeah, this is very lightweight. It's still wet over here though. But let me just probably pass some right here. But it is very lightweight. It's just it's still wet. I sprayed too much on my face, but it smells really good. Feels nice. So yeah, guys. Um, that's basically my review on this set. I have another set I'm gonna be reviewing from them. So, anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. Click the notification if you haven't. Follow me on my social medias and description of down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys next video. Bye guys.